Down, he immediately transitioned into a dominant position. Frank Shamrock in his corner has one of the greatest kickboxers. Maurice Smith has been with him with 11 years. There they go, touching gloves. Henzo Gracie, you heard in Portuguese. Big dog Ricardo Almeida, as well as his brother Help. So they've got plenty of support in the corner, Phil. And they're back. Oh, and Henzo was struck there by Frank Shamrock. You know, and what's amazing is these two guys came out like warriors. They fought, 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 and then at the beginning of the second round, they touched gloves and smiled at each other. The men this matchup, unbelievable how very evenly matched these two warriors are. Again, Frank Shamrock, Henzo Gracie, two families that really put MMA on the map in the early days. And now they're here once the sport has been fully accepted, looking to definitely put on a show for the thousands in attendance of the millions watching around North America. Well, Henzo Gracie, he's willing. He has such a great chin. He's willing to eat a punch or two, or eat a strike here, eat a strike there, in order to secure the takedown. Again, we talked about one, what, what you do when you get that takedown. He's not panicking. He was right to the position he wants to get into, a dominant position where Shamrock can't do anything. Shamrock told me earlier this morning he has an anti-jujitsu, and so far it's not working. Shamrock, of course, an emblem in Ireland for luck and everything, and so far the luck of the Irish not with Frank Shamrock Ireland right now. It's so great he's controlling. You see Shamrock looking, you need to work. looking for the referee, maybe wanting another one of those 15-second clocks, Bill. Yeah, he wants oh, to get, so busy. Yeah, he wants to get it up to his feet and uh, you know, impose his will, throw some uh, high kicks and and punches. He doesn't think that Henzo can stand with him, but you know it, it's been uh, evident that he can as of right now. Jay Hanzo Gracie, a two-time Abu Dhabi oh, submission oh, wrestling oh, champion, of course, Abu Dhabi, the premier submission wrestling oh, event in the world, oh, and uh, Herb Dean. Oh, what do we got going here? Oh, what do we got going here? Was it a headbutt? Oh, yeah. No, not, not that corner, right there. we got to get a replay here and see what happens. We're definitely uh, going to get that. I did not see what transpired, but obviously Hanzo Gracie in a world of hurt here, Frank Shamrock. In the neutral corner, Jay, did you catch it? No, I didn't oh, catch it. Hurt, hurt. Hurt. Yeah, Enzo yeah, is hurt. Enzo is hurt. standing up. Under the cover. Under the cover. Definitely don't want to see huh? controversy. No, no, we don't, we don't want to see this. Look at Enzo. He hurt the crowd. Frank yeah. yeah. Shamrock. Okay, yeah. Frank Shamrock just pleading with the crowd that, hey, it wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. What has happened here? They are raising the arm of Frank Shamrock. Yeah, they're taking a point oh, away from Thank you. They're taking looks, the point looks away. Looks as if either, it was either, I did not see it, it was either a headbutt or a knee to the head when he was on the ground. The way that went down, I'm thinking, wait a minute, what's he doing? But he is taking the point away, and we still don't know what happened. Yeah, Henzo is uh, in some serious trouble here. It's very, very unfortunate. If a point was taken out. away, though, then that must mean it was a deliberate, was it a headbutt? No, no, he has five minutes to recover. Okay, okay Henzo. You have five minutes we can get a replay. You sit there and take your time and make a decision after that. Okay. Have you started my injury clock? Oh, my. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes in round number two. A referee in charge, Herb Dean, stops the contest due to an intentional foul. He is the winner by way of disqualification, Henzo Gracie. Frank Shamrock, you're clapping. You just lost due to a disqualification. Tell us what you thought happened there. You know, I don't know. I thought we came here to fight, and um, that's what I was doing. So, yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, um, Herb said I had a bad call. I know I was hitting him in the back of the head a little bit. I thought he was going to move his head so I wouldn't hit him there anymore. And apparently, I need him in the head on the ground. I guess I'm old school. I come to fight. We do what we got to do to be a winner. I'm sorry I hurt the guy. I would have liked to stand up and knock him out. I was telling him the whole time, I'm going to stand you up and knock you out, and I think he just started believing it, and that knee kind of convinced him to leave. When it happened, when he rolled off, you hit him in the back of the head, you, he rolled off of you. Did you know what happened? No. Nah, I'm just fighting, man. Let's, My, let's take a look up here also. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's wasting his energy here holding me, and I just freed up my knee, and, you know, I popped him with the left knee, and I popped him again. I, I mean, I barely hit the guy. God bless him, but obviously he took the foul and he got the win. Like I said, I'm old school, man. I thought we were here to fight. Right, I want to get the referee in here. What, what went into your 
decision, I heard you guys talking over there whether or not it was intentional, not the intentional. What made you decide that it was an intentional knee to the back of the head? Well, um, earlier on he, in the match, there was a blow to the back of the head and he was given a warning. I'm not going to say that it was maliciously directed at the back of the head, but after a warning, then you lose a little leeway as far as negligence is concerned. So then another blow came to the back of the neck and I had to take a point. After, once I took a point, Kendall was unable to continue, then that's what the rule states we need to do. You give him five minutes to try and recover, what was he saying to you during those five minutes? Yes, sir. You gave him five minutes to recover. Henzo, what was he saying to you during those five minutes? What was he complaining about uh, as far as injury? Uh, you have to ask him. I just know that he was unable to continue fighting. All right, well, let's bring his manager in here. He's here, here with us right now. Um, hey, yeah. uh, I'm Cesar Gracie. I'm Henzo's manager. And, uh, you know, we have rules in these fights for a reason. These aren't bar fights. These are professional fighters. <clears throat> you can't kick to the head in uh, the United States. That's just a rule. Everybody's aware of the rule. And when that happens, you know, we're not, we're not waiting to get kicked in the head like that. If that was the rule, if you could do it, that's fine. But if we're not going to have rules, then, you know, let's bite and do whatever else in here. Would you like to rematch, you know, despite the, the fact that this thing ended in a disappointing way, would you like to rematch? Are you kidding me? I wasn't even sweating. I mean, I was telling him, though, I was going to tire him out and knock him out. I was looking at my corner, telling him it's about time, and... Apparently he started believing it, but hey, fight the fight, you know, my, my bad, I'm sorry, I'll take the loss, it's not my first, it's the first one in 10 years, but if I'm going to lose like that, then I'll just keep doing what I do. Tell us, what was, what was Hazel experiencing that he couldn't continue? Well, he got a concussion is what it was, he just got uh, taken to the hospital, he would have seen his eyes and so forth, the doctor told him to go to the hospital, because when you get uh, hit with rabbit punches, or in that case a rabbit knee, it, you're out pretty easy. Um, it looked to me like uh, Hanzo had won the first round and was on, on his way to winning the second round when, uh, you know, that happened. All right, again, that's uh, Hanzo Gracie's manager, Cesar Gracie and Frank Shamrock. This is not the way uh, you wanted to come back in one of your, let's call it, one of your comeback fights. So what's next for you? Well, apparently I got to go to the rules meeting and I got to watch the rules a little bit more. Um, I don't know, man. I, I came to fight and that's what I do. I, I knock people out and I had a perfect strategy to knock him out. and. I could hear him breathing, I could hear him wincing and, and hurting when I was hitting him, and I don't know, I guess I, uh, guess I broke the new rules. You guys have such a great rivalry history, so much respect as well between you two guys. Hey, just give us your overall thoughts of how this ended. Well, I mean, it sucks. I hate to lose like this, and I'm sorry to disappoint the fans. I know they wouldn't want me to knock him out, but, uh, hey, you know what? The controversy goes on, the family rivalry goes on, and I'd be glad to fight any of them. I, I don't really care, and if that's all that they can do to me, and they're going to quit like that, then hey, there it is there. All right. uh, abbreviated ending there, maybe we can get this thing going one more time. Let's send it back to you guys in the cage.